Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Kiran here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. This one is actually a combination of two themes which I have applied on my device. First one is the iOS one and second one is kind of a MIUI 13 as you can see where we don't have any kind of tiles options available and some interesting free space, the rounded kind of brightness slider. This looks quite good actually and I have applied, I tried to combine these two themes. Didn't got much changes but yes it looks quite good. I'm using it some time and didn't got any kind of issues using this theme from past two days and both these themes are actually in mtz files so if you're using a miui customs then you can apply this theme very easily as you can see this is the theme which i was talking about the home screen is looking quite good and interesting with two interesting widgets here the status bar as i previously told you i have applied another theme so combined these two themes but the one the major theme for the first theme which i have applied is the ios one let me show you by going into my accounts and themes these two themes which i was talking about and first of all going to theme components everything is from the ios 14.3.6 table v12 this is the theme which i was talking about and the other thing if you talk about the status bar we have the ferrovia mode v13 as i previously told you i applied the two themes and the second one is only for the status bar and the control center this one is the is 14.3.6 as i previously told you it has the mtz file so if i have that theme store link i will try to provide you but mtz is definitely for sure these are some things and this is the thing which i liked and that's why i have applied which is called ferrovia mode v13 if we talk about this theme, let me show the customizations here. These are some customizations, for example, the wallpaper, which you can simply adjust. There are some interesting wallpapers available there. You can apply any kind of wallpaper. The dark wallpapers are there, the light wallpapers are there. It's just up to you. If you want to apply any kind of wallpaper, which the wallpaper you like, you can simply choose that. And like that, we have other customization options available here too. You can customize this blur intensity. If you want more blur, you can simply enable that. If you don't want that, you can disable that. And like that, we also have this dock customization. As you can see, this is a dock which you can make transparent also. You can change the colors to dark or light. You can simply choose this to up, down and default. A lot of things are available it's just up to you You can customize a lot of things the status bar etc I have already shown you the home screen widgets are looking good it doesn't include any kind of theming in the volume panel and power menu etc as I previously told you this is the theme iOS one so we have the iPhone iOS 14 and everything is same like the iOS in these settings we have interesting kind of options available I have these options buttons everything is changed here this theme looks quite interesting one that's why i've applied it on my device let me show you by going into the dialer pad how this dialer pad is looking like the dialer pad is looking quite good this is the ios theme and this dialer pad looks interesting one it's just white combined with 3d icon shapes it looks good and if you like this theme you can simply choose this you can apply the whole theme or if you don't want to apply this in the lock screen we have interesting customizations where we have Siri suggestions which of course will not work, favorites, activity, almost everything is same like iOS 1 and including that some customizations where you can simply customize the dark mode, rounded corners, notch, charging style and unlock and passwords, identification, sensitivity, a lot more things. It's just up to you if you want to customize that. There are a lot of things to customize on this theme in this theme and like that let me show you other customizations which we get here for example that that was swipe right we get some other customization you need to swipe up from the down if you choose this you will see this kind of option slide down to open control center to unlock your device you need to slide up from that pill and like that if you swipe down the whole down at the at the bottom you will see this kind of control center there we can see the Wi-Fi and etc tiles we have the music tiles and all these interesting options are available there and these are also customizable we have the settings option and other things options are available so if you want to customize it's just up to you these are some interesting things about this theme and both of these themes links as an mtz file is in the description you'll get that mtz file and you can customize the theme components as i previously told you it's just up to you if you want to like that we have the facetime and every app is almost same like the ios one let me show you once by going into my drawer we have the facetime options available like that one we have the iMessage. we have the home options 
and interesting options are available these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day